Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. You can also become a member of my channel. $2.99 a month. And yeah, personal reading link is in the description box below. Let's do your weekend reading already into February. So the first through the third, let's see what message. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. The second through the fourth. <laughs> Let's see what your messages are going forward. You have intuition, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And okay, divorce. All right, all right, all right. Experiencing a breakup or a divorce. Okay. So congratulations to some of you who are trying to get a divorce. It looks like something's going to come through over the weekend where that maybe that'll get finalized or you'll find out on Friday. Okay, so you're being asked to take a look at some red flags over this weekend, Virgo. Let's take a look and see. Okay, something in love is being delayed. And that may be a red flag for you. Um, okay, you may be feeling let down. Something let you get let down. There's a red flag. Feeling depressed or maybe disappointed. Okay, something's not getting off the ground here. Um, and they're saying the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. So there must be something here that you need to pay attention to is what I'm hearing. Let's take a look and see. Oh, yeah, somebody's pushing back or being defensive, pushing back with the uh, seven of wands, um, standing their ground. Uh, there might be someone sorry, who's giving you this energy of like, how can I say this? Um, they don't want to, they don't want to have, they don't want the blessing of love. Okay. Which means the potential for something to go somewhere. They may not be telling you though, that they're showing you that. Okay. Because here's the, uh, seven of wands. This is someone who it seems like over this weekend, is doing this whole they're protecting themselves they don't want to move forward maybe they don't feel like they deserve love or that you'll be disappointed in them and they're not gonna they don't want someone to break up with them or they just you know whatever i'm not really 100 percent sure but this person is just giving off these vibes over the weekend and you may be getting these vibes these red flag vibes that you need to pay attention to okay they could be offering love and then holding back on it or delaying it, um, the blessing, uh, delaying, uh, saying uh, it could be something like don't want to have another kid or don't want a relationship, don't want to get married, you know, um, um, delaying a proposal or something along those lines as far as a relationship. You're picking it up, okay? You're picking it up. Why? Because the Empress is here. The Empress represents someone who is very intuitive and just is all knowing, all seeing, all knowing. The Empress represents all four queens. Okay. So the Empress ha is very healing, has a very healing energy, very supportive, a lot of empathy, tolerance, resourceful, self sufficient, full of confidence, very charming and courageous. Okay. And this person sees that in you. You might be too good to be true for this person. And you, you're, you, I see you over this weekend picking up on, hmm, what's going on? This person's not trying to move forward with me. Why? This is a major red flag, but I don't understand the red flag or what they're thinking. And you might, you could very well be thinking that you're not good enough or something, but it's, it's the opposite. This person, <laughs> I, I would, I feel like their, their thought process is too good to be true. Like, are you real? That's what I feel like, especially beginning on Friday, that there's an energy here of like somebody, and like I said before, they may not feel like they're worthy of um, good love or true love or your presence or something along those lines. And yesterday's reading, hmm, you were very angelic in yesterday's reading to someone. Insecurity, deep insecurity. There you go. Um, Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, what's the antidote to something like that? I mean, really, if you're dealing with someone who doesn't feel worthy, doesn't feel good about themselves, doesn't feel like they're, um, 
you know, worth a shit in the woods. I don't even know what to call it. But how do you deal with someone like that? I mean, you pretty much have to like just... Well, you just be who you are, right? The empress who's very nurturing and loving and caring, right? You can't really rebuild them. You you just don't criticize. You, it's all about the don'ts. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like this person is just this self-imposed prisoner with the Eight of Swords. This is the energy. They restrict themselves. They self-sabotage. They isolate themselves from relationships. Um... You could pick up a red flag that they're doing this with you over the weekend. That they're they're locking themselves up in a jail cell, pushing you away. Okay, saying I don't want love. You know, it, it brings to mind like um, a stray stray animal. <laughs> I don't know. This is whoever this person is. It doesn't have to be a lover, but there's like I'm picking up a stray animal that's in the corner and just shaking like a leaf and they have ticks all over them and they're like scared to death. And like the only thing that really helps bring that animal back to life is re is to build trust with them and to not criticize them and to be kind and nurturing and loving. I feel like, um, that's really the antidote to this. And I'm not telling you to do that. Okay. That, please, like I say in my readings all the time, don't come to me asking what you should do because I don't know. I'm just giving you a message. you got to decide on your own. And so I feel like you've got someone here who's just in the corner shaking like a stray dog that's been out in the middle of a uh, running in the highway and scared to death, traumatized, panicked, whatever's going on. And, you know, you got to use kid gloves with this person. Okay. So it could be a friend, it could be a friend, it could be a lover, but either way, you're picking up a red flag. This person is not giving love. They are they are delaying, they are holding back, they're very defensive, like a dog is gonna bite you because they're scared. Maybe this is about a pet. You might come across a pet over the weekend. This type of an animal, or this is someone that you have a connection with, whatever kind of connection. Um, there's a decision you have to make over this weekend. Um, what do you need to change to bring this person with the four of wands into this place of like, uh, like to reunite with you or to just unite with you to, to be a friend, to give them a sense of homecoming. Like, it's okay. You can come home. It's okay. You, I'm family. Like I I'm here. I love you. I'm here for you. You know what I mean? Um, how are you going to weigh that? You have quite a few options here to make change so what are you gonna do right i feel like this these are things that come up to you over this weekend um something that you uh, they're bringing it to, to your attention through me right now because i feel like it's 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 something you you have you have a couple choices and it's a big task you're going to have to do a f quite a few things. You have lots of options and things that you're going to have to figure out uh, with uh, this particular person because they're, I feel like they're scared. I feel like someone is just really scared. Yeah, they've been hurt, betrayed, um, let down. They're at rock freaking bottom and they're very self-protective. Very. Because of you know, the, the, the Dukes had to go up. Maybe it was another relationship. Maybe they were out in the middle of the highway and dodging cars or in some kind of traumatic situation. You're, you should trust your intuition. And so, yeah, these are red flags. And red flags doesn't necessarily mean like they're bad. It's just like, hello, pay attention over here. Something here you need to see. So, hmm, Virgo, it's interesting. Really, really interesting. Uh, <laughs> one more okay two of swords in the reverse a lot of confusion indecision information overload overlo overload a compromise you gotta make a compromise um, so if you have a desire to have this connection with this animal person place or thing um and you want to fulfill that desire with this person, you need to know that the, you might have to really activate your nurturing energy here with this person. 
big time in order to have that connection right and, and that's what i mean like the empress she engages like the empress has these like superpowers and her superpowers are abundance um she's like a good parent she's independent um she has a lot of resources she's able to engage and activate all of her resources to bring life so i feel like you also have earth sign taurus virgo capricorn so this could be this person could be one of those three signs um also that's your energy as well so let me see here the thing about the the virgo because we're you know you're a virgo that's what we're talking about huh um the thing about the virgo is that virgos like i said are very resourceful and they have they 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 understand fertile ground and how to make things grow they're very domesticated virgo you're that person if someone's knocking on your door um that you know and they ran out of gas you not only invite them in um because you're going to get your keys to take them up and go get their gas for their car but you'll give them a cup of soup first if it's cold i mean like you're that person who brings home comfort warmth you're like virgo's like if you had a perfume it would be the smell of like home-baked cookies and bread because <laughs> <laughs> everybody loves that you know what i mean like you're home for people you know you're solid you're practical um but you're wise and you invest in people especially those who are in situations in the less fortunate you know because you have all of this beautiful energy um you know even i know virgos that give the best freaking gifts like virgos if all the signs they give the best gifts you know um like for birthdays and christmas like you're just that that's just a, something about you virgo you know you're very li reliable people just love being around you um like who, who you are like as a person you know what i mean um so i feel like i just described you there <laughs> for sure and look even with the moon in reverse like there's no bullshit about you so i feel like we're going to talk about you a little bit here virgo um you bring clarity you will reveal the truth like i don't feel like like if anybody's going to tell the truth about anything it's going to be a virgo okay um you understand your dreams um or at least you you you're you're inquisitive you want to know about the dreams that you have like you connect everything this moon in reverse like you're clear crystal clear there's no it's with you it's what you see is what you get deal with it take it or leave it it's not your virgo's like it's not my problem if you don't accept me that's a you problem because i accept me you know what i mean and i accept others and i want to help so i feel like that's basically yeah <laughs> you get the world Virgo's like, I can put on my thigh high boots and walk around with no underwear on. I'm fine with that and a tube top. And y'all can kiss my ass. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> Virgo's out there like on the parade, just twirling her batons or his baton. He just doesn't care. Um, so, Virgo, you're kind of like, you know, this weekend, your energy in other areas. I think there's something here about like you're giving some truth. And you're not holding back and you're pretty much like you're gonna drop a truth bomb and then keep it moving i see you doing that over this weekend um maybe somebody asks you a question or they want some truth out of you and you just drop it you drop deliver and leave uh you're pretty much like the you know fedex or ups you're just like hey, here's your package sign i'm out you, yeah I, you're 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 moving you're keeping it moving yeah look you care you're taking no prisoners over this weekend that's why <laughs> ten of wands in the reverse no prisoners nope nope i don't want the burden you want the truth here here's the truth some of you are just like taking a break i feel like you're just this weekend you might be traveling during the day maybe a day trip this weekend i feel like you're just like off offloading is what i'm hearing um you're, some of you are saying no to something as well there might be a question that's asked and you're straight up with it no 
I'm busy or no, I can't or no, I'm out of here. Um, and, and there's also like this heavy duty lightening up. So for some of you that have been in your head all week with the moon, th that's reversed. Okay, the sun will come up tomorrow. So there you are, right in your daylight, right in the sun. Yeah, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. So there you are, right? Offloading your burdens this weekend. Anything going on, especially on Saturday. Um, I feel like you get a call from someone to go somewhere. And you take them up on it. You also finish something that you've been working on. It gets finished this weekend. So you're freed up. Okay, you're freed up. This is going to be a short reading today, but it's just a weekend. Now, some of you are freeing yourselves up from a breakup or a divorce. Some of you are breaking up with someone. You're ending something. Um, let me see your energy with this. Um, there might be some arguments or something, and that makes you leave. You get out of town. Okay, yeah, look. You're like, leave me alone. I'm going to write King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Nope, getting out of town. Goodbye. There might be a there might be an argument through text over this weekend. Maybe Sunday or just in general at any point in time. Um, doesn't have to be a breakup. It could be. Or you might just break the communication, breaking up with you over, over text or I'm breaking up this communication I want to talk. Okay. The hermit is there. Going into silence. Even if you would adopt the King of Swords energy over the weekend, it's kind of like you're being very intentional with your words as well. You're just, like I said, you're just being very truthful and very honest over this weekend. And the Eight of Cups is pretty much the same as like, I'm withdrawing, I'm retreating, I'm doing what I need to do for myself over this weekend. So I definitely feel like that's going on with you. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. Okay, so I do see you getting, um, receiving some kind of opportunity. Some of you might come into some money over this weekend as well. And I just want to say, you are not one to blow at all. And you will not be blowing at all as soon as you get it. The Ace of Pentacles is a good, good bit of money. Yeah, so you might, you might get a bonus. Some of you get a new job. You know, new, there's new income, definitely, or a raise. You, you'll stop and look at it and be like, what am I going to do with this? What should I do with this? Let me pay a couple of bills. Yeah, pay it. maybe I owe a couple of bits here to, to someone or, a comp or whatever. I have to pay a couple of things. But whatever money that comes in for you over this weekend also, I want to say, Virgo, you're the type, you know, they always say to people that um, people who are poor, or broke, they win like $5 million in a lottery. And then within a year, they're poor and broke again. Not Virgo. Mm -mm. Virgo could have no money win five million and in a year will have uh, accumulated or invested and would now have 10 million more you know what I mean so because you're thrifty <laughs> some of you might even be a little bit miserly but it looks like if you have a divorce um, you'll definitely be getting the money um, if there's any money to come to you through a divorce, you'll definitely be getting or hearing about receiving that going forward. Um, this feels like the courts here, you know. Um, if you have any child support that's owed to you, I don't care how long, you'll, you're going to be getting um, reimbursed. Maybe? They're saying reimbursed. I don't know what that means. If you were owed any money or if you paid too much. Um, there's, so there's definitely, there's money coming in over this weekend. I can tell you that. Let me see what other messages there are for you here, Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know? What other messages does Virgo need to know for this weekend? Two. Okay. You've got the star card. So your hope, faith, and wishes will be restored. You also have Cupid's Arrows, love messages, travel, okay, coming in over this weekend. So a lot of love communication. All right. You also have a financial decision that you will be making, and we were just talking about that. You have good vibes here as well. Um, time to play. I feel like enjoy the positive energy this weekend. You have a new love start also. And that for some of you, that could be like in the very beginning, that first reading. 
um, something changes in regards to some kind of relationship based on your positive vibes and your good actions. Okay, and then arguments and separation, like I said, for some of you, that divorce or an argument or something, and you're just like, you don't want to talk. You don't want to talk about anything. You're, you're, you're going to drop some kind of truth bomb and then go. You're not saying anything. And some of you may be reevaluating your career over this weekend. You might need to do that. Take a look at, you know, some of you are going to get like a severance pay because you're going to retire. And some of you um, may reevaluate your career and decide that you're going to uh, learn something new. Do something different. Some of you might just decide to go to school just, just for the learning aspect. I just heard somebody too is, is going to go into... Uh, um, go into like politics or something or is or, or already is involved in that um, okay wants to be like a congress person or senator or um, something here in the US it could be in parliament or any other country where we have like a legal system getting involved too okay money in the bank over the weekend like I told you Okay, some of you can just bore. Some of you are so bored. Seriously, like you are. I, I gotta do something. I'm just incredibly bored. You wanted, like, you have an itch, Virgo. You might have an itch. You want to learn something new. You want to do something new over this weekend, and you might be doing it. There's material gift, which is just the same as the Ace of Pentacles, or yeah, Ace of Pentacles, where I felt like there was. There's some there's some new tangible gift coming in. The Ace of Pentacles can be an actual gift. So some of you, whether that's in the form of money or uh, metals, money or metals or um, minerals, something you know tangible, like a like a material gift. <laughs> For a second there, doesn't that look like material girl? Okay. And what else? Okay. And you've got secure home. So some of you, the gift is you get that loan. Some of you get a gift for a loan or a mortgage or to buy a home. Absolutely. Or to buy a condo. Or maybe you get a lease on the apartment. You secure a home. Let me see what other. Whoops. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. You have two eyes. Well, of course you do, Virgo. Somebody also reaches out and says hi to you through a text over the weekend. Someone that you've been waiting to hear from. You have the letter D. You have 1986, 1989. August 31st, as usual. August 26th, September 2nd, 1974. The letter N, as in Nancy, Noah, F, F and F and F is in Frank, Farah, Franny, Francis, Francine, sixty six and fifty seven. And what else? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller, thirty eight, the letter X, Xavier. Um, Yes, that's the 16th, September 16th, somebody's birthday. The letter E. Someone's doing a Zen retreat over this weekend. And someone's playing with Nerf guns. Nerf guns or paintball. 37. Okay, we've got, there's a phone number. 41, oh no, 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 it's a zip code. 41100. Is that a zip code? Okay, they're saying a zip code. Somebody's from France or speaks French. Okay, we have the letter S and someone's birthday is in May. Um, I just heard the name Ryan. Okay. Someone's activating their key, their chi. They're, they're gi, 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 qi. Um, the letter Z. Hmm, somebody's seeing their sister over this weekend. I just heard. 
And also, someone's getting some Z's, like legit Z's. Oh, I see a twin flame showing up over this weekend. Who's your twin flame, Virgo? Gemini? <laughs> Capricorn? There's Capricorn again. Scorpio and Cancer. Anybody else for Virgo? Who else is Virgo's twin flame? A Gemini again. Capricorn again. Pisces. One more. Uh, double... Triple Taurus. One, two, three. Are you kidding? Triple Taurus. Just like that. All right. Let's see. Get a charm for you guys. And then I'm going to let you go have a fantastic weekend. Don't forget to be a member of my channel. Join. $2.99 a month. Go check it out. Okay. Interesting. All right. So you have an owl and a monkey. Someone might be born in the year of the monkey. An owl and a monkey. Well, they're always in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Okay. A very wise... I'm, I'm picking up... Oh, that's so cute. Like an owl and a monkey. Like they're friends. Is somebody... Do you guys... Like, does anybody here write children's stories or short stories? They're just saying children's stories. I'm hearing. If you're doing, if you do something like that, or if you've been thinking about doing something like that, Spirit is saying get to it, or finish it, complete it this weekend, or start doing it over this weekend. Um, let's see if I'm getting anything else from that. Okay, so they're saying, remember I was talking in the beginning about your intuition and look out for the red flags, like... The owl can turn its head like all the way around, right? So he can see everything going on around him. And there's a monkey who's playing little tricks. So I feel like keep your head on a swivel. <laughs> Do you ever hear that term? Keep your head on a swivel this weekend, Virgo, because there's some monkey, monkey games or tricks or something like that going on around you. I don't think anybody's trying to be deceitful to hurt you. But, you know, if you're walking down the street and somebody wants you to, like, you know, use, they're going to use, like, they're hustling, try to hustle you into something, keep your eyes peeled. If you're in, especially if you're in a city, just keep your eyes peeled. Okay, Virgo, I'm going to leave that there. That's your weekend reading. I hope that you enjoy that. I will see you all back here on Sunday evening for your week ahead. Again, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button on your way out and join my channel. Again, I'll say it again. Um, you'll get really cool emojis. You'll have access to those customized emojis. You'll have your banner. I'm sorry, your badge. And if you've been a member before, you can just rejoin and you'll go right back to your status for where you were before and you'll get shout outs. And also, if you have just recently joined and I didn't call your name, I will get you on Sunday. All right, you guys. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Thank you to the mods. Love you guys. And I will see you all back here very soon. Bye. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.